so you've decided to get an electric vehicle absolutely brilliant what do you do with all these cables where do you plug them in when do you plug them in i'm about to show you now So the first way and the slowest way to charge an electric vehicle is using what's called an EVSE, Electric Vehicle Standard Equipment, a three pin plug, commonly referred to as a granny cable. It's as slow as your granny, but you can use it at your grannies. And all you basically need is a waterproof outside socket. So you plug it in, and basically you get a display on this particular Hyundai yeah, EVSE that tells you it's basically ready and you take the other end and plug it straight into the car. So on this particular Hyundai, we've got two bungs. You pull the top one off, place it in. The car will lock itself on. You go back to the charger. And it basically gives you a display that it's now actually charging the vehicle. So this is level one. This will add around nine miles per one hour of it being plugged in. So this is your fast charge cable. This is called a Type 2 to Type 2 because that's the names of the different ends. This bit will fit into your home charger, in this case my Zappi charger, which is rated at 7 kilowatts. So this particular EV is capable of drawing 7 kilowatts. So the 3-pin plug cable is about 2.1 kilowatts. This is obviously, where are we, 3, nearly 4 times faster. So then we just plug this straight into the car. Again, exactly the same socket, plug it in. The car will actually lock it on there and it's now charging at seven kilowatts, which is adding around about 25 miles range per one hour of it plugged in. So here we are at a fast charger. Now we're taking the same cable that I used at home, my fast charge cable, and we're going to connect up now to a fast charger. So to fast charger, I've got my Charge Place Scotland card and we do the following. So we offer the card up, it then checks the card and it's telling me to plug in either side. So I'm going to plug in this side, pull the cable up, push in. And it does a few checks and it's now charging the car. So these fast chargers are primarily used for when you're going shopping or you're visiting a leisure centre and the car is going to be parked here for two or three hours. It's a bit like parking up at home and charging. So it's around about 25 miles per one hour of it being plugged in to a fast charger. Okay. So this is a rapid charger and this particular electric vehicle, the Hyundai Ionic, takes CCS. Okay, so to do a rapid charge, yes we undo the top bung, but also we've got another bung at the bottom. And this is for the CCS connector. Now a common mistake a lot of people make is they look at the connectors and they pull them out and go, oh, that looks like that fits in there. And they plug it in. Big mistake. <laughs> This is basically for the older style Renault Zoe's. And if you were to use this, this big new unit is offering this car 43 kilowatts. But this car on the AC side, the onboard charger can only accept seven. So if you want a seven kilowatt charge, use a fast charger. Don't hog a rapid so no one else can use it. So common mistake, I see lots of pictures on the internet, people with different makes and models like the I-Pace and various other CCS equipped vehicles plugged into the AC side. Please do not do this. What you need is the combined charging system. The rapid charger for a CCS vehicle is the whole connector that plugs in to the vehicle. So let's do that now. So we take the card and we want CCS, it's called Combined Charging System. So we're going to select CCS, it says please plug the cable in. It's called Combined because obviously just the one connector combines two types of charging. So push all the way in, no levers on this one or buttons. It's connecting with the vehicle. 
and it's saying we're at 54% and it's now charging happily away. Now to end a charge it will either turn itself off or it will um, we can turn it off with the card. So just going back to the car you can see here if we get in most EVs will have a display 29 minutes to complete the charge we're at 55% this is a little bit slow at the moment because it is uh, cold so to end a charge we offer the card up again which is what it's doing and we press stop let's offer it up again it does a series of clicks and checks ends the process and then it will then say charge ended by user we can now unplug the ionic and just basically pull it out there we go put it back in the holder for the next person and just make sure you replace your bungs some have flaps this one has some bungs and there we go we've completed a rapid charge so there we go that's how we do a CCS rapid charge on this particular EV and this applies to all the modern EVs they're all equipped with CCS combined charging system um, so don't forget this is for a rapid charge and if I can work it out with my fingers that is for a fast charge which is similar to charging up at home it's taking around seven kilowatts in this particular electric vehicle so I hope you find that useful any vehicles, of course, that we hand over here as part of the Reflex project, we're more than happy to talk you through this process again um, when you get your EV here on Orkney. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.